In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use set actions to create dynamic reference bands. So let me show you an example here. You can see I have a band that is uh, the area that I've highlighted. If I just lasso some points, I want to see that band move and so on and so forth. So we can accomplish this with set actions. So let's see how it's done. First off, I'm going to go ahead and create a custom date based on the order date field. And I'm just going to call it day. And I'm going to use the, the days date part and the date value. So the date value would give me each individual day. The date part would give me 1 through 31, like the calendar days. So now that I have that field, I want to go ahead and create a set based off of it. So I'm going to call this my days set and just choose use all. And uh, uh, or let's just pick a few days to start. So I'll just pick a range of dates, hit OK. And next, I'm going to go ahead and build out my chart. So I'm going to right click and drag my order date field to or the date field to the columns. And let's just say we want to look at uh, maybe sales over the over the course or how about average discount? Let's try something different. OK, and there we go. Now I don't like that. We'll just go with sales. OK, so now what we need to do is we need to find the largest and smallest values in the set. So I'm just going to show you the uh, so if we edit the set again, we can see the smallest date is January 13th and the largest date or the maximum date that I've selected is February 15th. So how can we get those? Well, we'll do that with a couple of level of detail expressions. So first thing we do is I'm going to say max date in range, or maybe I'll even say max day in set. So I want to use a, uh, a level of detail expression. So I'm just going to say the max. And the reason I'm not putting fixed include or exclude is because I just want the overall maximum. So I'm going to say if it's in my day set, then I want to return the day end. And that's just going to give me the maximum date in the set. So let's see if that works. So I'm going to right click and drag that to my detail shelf. And if I hover over, you'll see I have May 12th everywhere, or I'm sorry, uh, October, sorry, I can't even talk, uh, February 15th everywhere. And if I look back in my set, you can see my maximum day is February 15th. Great. So now we can duplicate that. And let's do the same thing for the minimum. So all I need to do is just change my max to a min and hit OK. And let's bring that one. Oh, let me rename that. I just called it mix instead of min. And let's drag that one to the detail shelf. And there we go. So now we have both of those fields. You can see neither of them are changing. So uh, the thing I can do now is I can create a reference band. So I'm going to do it for the day on the table. And I'm going to go from my minimum date to my maximum date. I'm going to turn my labels off and my tooltips off because it doesn't really matter if my user sees them. I'm going to set my line to maybe just a dotted line. Uh, yeah, maybe something like gray. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to set my fill to maybe a lighter gray and untick the show recalculate. So there we go. So now we can see which things are between those lines. The next step is to create the set action. So I'm going to go up to Worksheet and then Actions. And I'm going to add a Change Set Values action. I'm going to call this Update Days Set. <clears throat> My source is going to be the data source itself, so Sheet 1. And the reason I do this is because when I put it on the dashboard, I want it to automatically carry over without having to reset it. So I want to update my day set on select. And I want to keep the set values when I'm done because I want that range to stick. Hit OK. And now when I drag over some dates, you can see my, my reference band shifts. So if I do something like that, you can see it makes it bigger or smaller. The next thing I want to do is I want to be able to color code the line based on uh, whether it's in the range or not. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. And I'm going to call this one uh, days in the range. And for this, I'm going to say if the day field is uh, greater than or equal to the min date in the range and the day field 
actually, let's do it this way. Let's say it's greater than or equal to the max date and the range, or greater than, sorry. Uh, then we're going to call that above. Um, else if uh, the day field is less than the min, then we're going to call that one uh, below. Else in range end. Okay, so now we can put this onto the view under the color shelf. And we'll see we got a nice little split up here. And I'm just going to arrange my colors. So because I have three colors, I'm going to actually just make the above and below the same color. So maybe I'll go to make those perhaps something like a lighter gray. Uh, and I'll make I'll make my uh, my in range. I'll just leave it red for now so we can see it a bit better. So now when I select some points, you can see my red line moves. So very good. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of the lines a bit. OK, <clears throat> so the last thing I want to do then is I want to return the value of the sales for the days in the selected range. So to do that, I'm going to create another calculated field that is a level of detail expression. So I'm going to say sales uh, in range. And for this, I'm going to do another uh, overall level of detail expression. So if be uh, if days in range. Uh, if that equals in range, then sales end. Uh, and then I'm just going to put another mustachio on the end. And now if I put that onto my detail shelf, I can leverage that in here. So I can say um, uh, total sales for uh, between and I can insert my fields and maybe I'll say total sales from, and then I'll put a hyphen in there. And then I'm going to insert my sales in range. Maybe I'll make that bold. And there we go. So now I can see my sales are 685,000. So if I want to look at maybe this one point here, just to see if it works, I can see the sales for that is 18,453. Click on that one dot and it says 18,453. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do then is I wanna go ahead and format these dates. So let's see if we can make that work. So I'm gonna right click on my Max and choose Format. Go to my Pane option and uh, I'm gonna make it a custom date and let's see if this works. So I'm gonna do, uh, so how about I do, I wanna do year, year, month, day, something like that. Or I could even do, you know, put a put a quote before it or, you know, whatever, whatever you wanna do. So day, day, or just make it day. Um, and then I could do the same thing for my min date and just choose custom and there we go. So. We're looking at sales from 2018. I don't like that format, so I'm going to change it around. And uh, let's see. Maybe I'll just make it. There we go. And let me change the max date as well. Okay, so now I can see my total sales uh, from August 24th of 2018 to July 25th is 526,030. Okay. So that's it. If you want to throw this on a dashboard, uh, sometimes you have to double check and make sure your table calc your um, actions are still working. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the phone layout. Uh, and I'm going to just double click on my sheet. Go ahead and click off of that. And let's see if it still works. So if I choose that. So the reason this works is because when I go back to my worksheet and look at my action, the reason it still works is because I chose the data source up here instead of just the sheet. So uh, yeah, so that should take care of it then. A um, little bit of cleaning up the tooltip. So what I would do here is I'm going to go ahead and um, tell all of these things. I don't want them in the tooltip. And this will kind of just trim things down. So now I just see the date and the sales. So sometimes what I like to do is I want to do that. And then I'll put the sales and maybe a big, a big number or something like that. And and there we have it. So uh, 
If you have any other questions about this, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, otherwise, uh, have a good day. Bye.